Hello everyone, my name is Ace Combat Fan and welcome to Ace Combat 101, a collaboration series of videos, tutorials and articles done by myself, Tomcat171 and the folks at Project Lighthouse in order to introduce new players to Ace Combat and how to improve your skills in the same game. In this video we'll be taking a look on how to perform the post stall maneuvers, a new mechanic that has been added in the game that gives your plane more agility and speed while doing some cool tricks like the Cobit or the Cobra maneuvers. Before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to say that some aircraft are able to perform these maneuvers while some are not. So you can see in this list some of the aircraft that are capable of doing, at least in my case I've chosen the F-22 Raptor just because it's a high tier plane with good agility. If you're gonna practice, pick an aircraft in this list. Don't pick an A-10, it's never gonna happen. And you can do these post stall maneuvers without adding any parts to increase your speed, agility or anything else. They really can be done as a, what I call a clean configuration with no added parts or customization. So let's start this tutorial. I highly recommend you first to choose the measuring units to kilometers per hour as you can see on the top left of your aircraft. My airplane is going at 599 kilometers. Don't use miles, don't use knots, use kilometers, they are more precise. Another hint is practice these on free flight at a relatively safe altitude, at a high altitude, because if you stall, you don't have to start this all over again. So what you want to do is you, you want to have your aircraft at less than 500 kilometers per hour. That is, you know, the speed range where you are able to perform the post stall maneuvers. Just a quick overview on the controls. I'm using the deceleration on the left one, my acceleration on the right one, and my yaw on the left two and the right two. Two. This is the inverted configuration that you can change on the options. So what we want to do is you want to press both the acceleration and deceleration at the same time while less than 500 kilometers per hour and you want to put the nose of your aircraft up so just put you know the analog down. Now let's try to do that. Let's decelerate below 500 kilometers. Now we have more energy you know 450 it's a good place to start when you're speed because you have more energy. Now let's do the post maneuver. Press the two at the same time, keep the nose down, and that's how I just perform a culbit. The a culbit, after you start, you want to put the acceleration right here, and you want to keep the nose going up at all the time. Let me start another maneuver just so you see what if what happens if you don't do anything. Let's go back here to the map. Less than 500 kilometers. And there you go. I just started the maneuver, didn't do anything, I let it off the controls my aircraft entered into a stall. So you need to know how to control. Let me start another one and let me try to show the call bit once more. Speed below 500 kilometers. Start, keep it up with the throttle and the nose to go all the way. That's the call bit. And now let me try to show you a Cobra. Cobra basically, after you start the post maneuver, you have your nose up and then you wanna put it back down. That's how you do the Cobra. Let me go a little bit left so we don't go through the clouds. Speed less than 500 kilometers. There you go, nose up, put nose down. That's kind of how you do a Cobra. This one was kind of early. It's better to do with the Russian planes, the Cobra, just because your airplane doesn't stall. But you have you have to pick one, either the Cobra or the Cobit. The Cobra, you start with less energy. I mean, you end with less energy, and the Cobit, you still have more energy at the end of the maneuver, just because you're putting all that throttle while you are doing. There you go, a Cobit. And that's how you do it. There's a lot of practice, but you know, you get the basics. Now, one cool thing about the post stall maneuvers is you don't have to be, you know, flying level like this. You can actually do it upside down. So let me show you how, how it's done. Go less than 500 kilometers. Let me get some more energy. There you go, upside down. You kind of get a little bit of more speed because you're basically... Um, doing the upside portion with the culbit, you're actually going down. So speed is actually a little bit easier on that sense. Now let me see if I can do a cobra as well, up while upside down. Basically you want to start the maneuver while your plane is not moving much. And there you go. Easier to do just because you're facing down and you get that extra, that extra speed. And the cobra and the culbit are some maneuvers you might, you know, use in a dogfight situation. But that is it, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to learn more about tips and hints on how to improve your gameplay, check the description more links to either my video tutorials, Tomcats or Project Lighthouse's articles on Ace Combat. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.